Don't forget to hit subscribe. I post nursing related content. I'm going to nursing school pretty soon. And I also started a job at a hospital nearby. So I'm posting patient care, CNA related content also. So this week video is actually gonna be a first work week in my life as a patient care assistant. I start on Thursday. Yesterday I had a orientation which was virtual. I was doing modules all day. So I didn't record at all because I was just constantly on the computer and was like I had to go pick up my badge and then I came back and continued working on modules so today I actually had a training virtual again it was just about how to document charting transfers and discharges how to do everything based on the computer so that was from 8 to 12 30 now yeah aroundish so I just finished that up it was a little long but I was lots of information I jotted down some notes so I can remind myself if I need help on how to do things I'm just gonna start it here with today Tuesday and then tomorrow I don't have anything I have it off to relax and get everything prepped for Thursday I actually just got a package I have a package from a scrub company which is figs so I thought I'd do a little unboxing for you guys right now because I ordered two pairs of scrubs and another pair of pants here they are this thing is absolutely like it looks super cute to like it's like all red and everything first color I got is a burgundy so I ordered a extra small based off the sizing that was my size but never had a pair of figs so this is my first couple set this is the burgundy color I just got a v-neck top with it says three pockets but okay I guess there's just like a little pocket inside but nice material hopefully this isn't too big burgundy color some gray strings these I just got the normal cut I actually got the cargo pants because I like having the pockets on the side down here also because then I can just drop it something in real quick and then pull it out so I have like more than just two pockets here is the burgundy maroon color they're a little tighter like they're not tight tight where it's uncomfortable they're just like a little bit tighter right there but here is it not really I haven't tucked it in but that was just folded so here's it all the way down and then if I like wanted to tuck it in I could but I feel like I couldn't really use these pockets this is the maroon pair on to the other player i got i got a black pair here is the black hair top same style as the burgundy just black and then this one i got two types of bottoms first type of bottom is these are the jogger ones i just wanted to try these out because i have a kind of a pair of joggers but not really but i've heard these are super nice so this is the jogger bottom like gray drawstring strap again here's the joggers they're actually like really cute i kind of like them a lot more i like both but gives me an option of what i want to wear they're not too tight and it's not like super loose it's like a perfect fitting i can't i don't know if you can really tell everything i got extra small and i also got petite petite sizing for the pants since i am shorter i don't want it to be too long or anything i want it to fit perfectly at my ankles and then last one is just the basic black scrub pants just the cargo ones again because like i said i like that extra pocket right here these are super nice here's the black pair same style pants as the other the burgundy here's the nice pockets right here and then have the three pockets here also 
same type of fit obviously i do have these are like my other type of joggers from these ones are gray's anatomy brand and i also have a navy blue cherokee this is when i was in clinicals for my cna i had to wear navy blue my hospital doesn't have a specific color we have to wear on the floor we can wear anything but i kind of want to stick with like neutral colors like solid colors nothing like too crazy i also have my badge right here this i have this is a let's see if you can get it with little hearts and i also have a cheetah one i can't find it right now but that's the one i have and then i have these three pens on here and then obviously my badge and then like information of stuff so that will be perfect here i'm not sure if i'm gonna just like take these off and put them somewhere else and like keep this all together but i will do a whole like getting ready for tomorrow or on wednesday i'll get do a whole getting ready for the next day of how i'm gonna plan out my first day at work yeah. i will show you like things that i'm bringing what i'm putting my stuff in i have no clue because it's my first day but i'm just gonna bring some stuff and then i can always not bring it the next day because then i work on friday but this is the first day in getting my scrubs hello and happy wednesday everybody tomorrow is my my first day on the floor at, as a patient care assistant at the hospital so I'm getting prepared today for like things I should put in my bag getting ready for tonight of packing my lunch getting my scrubs ready just like getting prepared for tomorrow so I'm on my way I have to go get gas we're gonna go to Old Navy and I'm gonna just grab like a zip up jacket that I've heard that's really it's cheap and it's good just to wear in the hospital and then I'm gonna go to Target for just like tiny like miscellaneous things. I'm gonna get like a de mini deodorant just to keep in my bag. Um, lint roller, a hairbrush if I wanna fix my hair so it's not like crazy because I'm gonna be there for 12 hours. So just like little things I'm gonna grab and then I need to grab a pair of compression socks because I forgot to order them. But I ordered some from Amazon today. So those will be here on Friday. So I have to get two pairs. So the next week I will be have my good compression, compression socks. But here is day two of preparing for my first week as a patient care assistant slash CNA. Okay, it's, let me do this. I have my Apple Watch in military time and I have it at first, but. Five. Okay, so yes, it's close to 8.30 and I'm going to get ready of all my things together. Well, just gather my things ready. So I just made my lunch for tomorrow and my breakfast. I made some overnight oats, which I just did oats, almond milk, peanut butter, cinnamon, and bananas. And then I put some cut up bananas on the top. I put that in, the, in a mason jar, closed it up, put it in the fridge, and I'll have that tomorrow morning. And I also made a sandwich for lunch, just something simple, just to, so I can get a feeling of how hungry I'm gonna be and like what, for, just for the future, just to see how day one goes. And I also cut up an apple for, this is my lunch pail. This is something that I, I got when I did my CNA class. You can keep things cool, like it has that like cold texture thing inside. But I did get an applesauce packet. I love these, but I haven't had them in forever. So I thought it'd be a good snack. I packed an orange and then I have a Kind Bar. They're gluten free and I love them so much. I also have an RX bar. This is the coconut chocolate flavor. I bought like four of those. And then I also have this Verb Energy bar. This is actually the pumpkin spice latte flavor. I just have them all in, in a one bag and then I just pulled whatever it was first there. So I have that if I get tired and I don't want to go get coffee, this is that Verb bar, Energy bar, is equal to one espresso shot. That will, I've had them so many times and I love them so much. So I have all those snacks in there and then obviously I'll put my lunch in here. I just brought a bunch of snacks because I don't know how it's going to go if I'll get super hungry and groggy or anything like that. I just have extras because I know my blood sugar does get low and I will get like, start getting like my head hurts and I'll start getting like fatigued so i just don't want to pass out on the first day so i have that and then i also put coffee like plain black coffee in a starbucks cup i'm gonna probably drink that in the morning right when i wake up so i feel a little bit energized and then i'll bring it also to work i just pre-filled that and i'll add some ice and some creamer tomorrow morning just wanted to be i don't want to have to like do a bunch of things in the morning i want to wake up get ready and then go 
I'm a morning person, but not at 5 a.m. On to the next thing. I did have, I just went to Home Depot. I forgot I had to get a lock because I have a locker. So I have my lock here. I have some stuff in my backpack. Like I have a book, um, my planner. I don't know if I'm going to need it. I probably won't, but I just like bringing it with me just to double check and look at things of planning my day. I have a notebook of notes that I wrote from the webinar for my training that I had online. So I have information in there that's good to know. So I'm gonna just get all this stuff ready right now and put it into my bag and organize it all. So it's all ready. I have all my stuff. So I'm going to get organized now real quick. Okay, I just finished packing everything in my bag. I have my badge here and I have this nice clip. I'm just gonna take it off and I'm gonna wear this separately and then my badge separately. So I have it just hanging here so I know to take this backpack, my badge is already gonna be on it. So I have that all there and then I'm going to wear these, the Cherokee socks, compression socks. And I'm gonna wear the black scrubs tomorrow with the jogger pants. So I have this all set up and I'm going to set it over here. All ready in the morning. Oh, let me grab my shoes. And then my Adidas shoes. We'll see how these work out. I've been wearing them. I wore them during clinicals. I liked them, but I did not have compression socks. So we'll see how these two balance out. I might need to get a new sole in them. So they're a little bit more comfortable, but I've been wearing these and I liked them. I'm gonna put my hair up somehow with a normal hair tie and then put a scrunchie over. I kind of like matching when I wore my hair up during clinicals. I liked matching my scrunchie with my scrubs. I don't know. For me, it was just... It looked, that was my, instead of wearing the headband, a scrunchie was my thing for me. I think that's everything. I feel like I'm going to forget something. I'm so nervous. I'm just overthinking like what ifs, but I have all my stuff laid out for tomorrow. I'm going to just relax and get into bed now because since I have to wake up at five, I want as much sleep I can get. Probably go to bed by 10. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early for my first shift at the hospital. And I hope you guys are excited too and nervous for me. I don't think you'll be nervous. I'm nervous, you'll be excited. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. working at my new job in the hospital. So when I recorded this, I did a full week of preparing for my new job, the orientation training that I had to do over online through a webinar and also getting some brand new scrubs. And I didn't show you Thursday of my first day actually at the hospital because I was so nervous. I was like freaking out. I didn't know what to expect and I just did not want to record at all. Like I was anxious in the morning, not want to record me getting ready. So I showed you guys my 
Friday of me getting ready, then that was it. So now I'm here to give you an update on how it's been and what I'm doing and what I'm called at my hospital. So I am a patient care assistant. It's technically a certified nursing assistant, but they just call it a PCA. Also, what I've been doing in the hospital, I help patients with their daily living activities. So that means I help them get ready in the morning, get them dressed, brush their teeth, help them order breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever they need. They can also call themselves if they need to, just kind of being reminded. I do take their vitals, which is blood pressure, their heart rate, their oxygen level, respirations, and temperature. So I do that every morning around like eight o'clock because I do wake up around five. I leave my house around 5.50ish to get there before 6.30. I start, my shift starts at 6.30. I get report from the PCAs before that were there over the night. I get the report from them and then I start my rounds and then throughout the whole day, I do just rounding every two hours, checking in on patients helping them so there's things that I do throughout the day that like will go in like I just constantly am doing stuff with patients so like I said how I help them with their daily living activities getting them up walking them to the bathroom getting dressed all that stuff so I work with the RN so I'm below them but I work with them and let them know what's happening if this person's blood pressure is too high or this happened during when I was walking them if they felt pain or anything I still let the registered nurses know about that my shifts are a day shift they are 12 hours it does not feel that long actually the day goes by pretty fast i do wake up when it's dark and i leave when it's dark so i don't really get to see the sunlight that much so if a patient gets discharged it's nice to walk them down to the outside and i'm actually outside in the fresh air for a little bit but other than that i'm indoors constantly working with patients some people call it the dirty work but it is but at the same time since i'm at the bottom i'm doing just the stuff nobody really wants to do but i actually enjoy it i love working with these patients and and I feel like I'm helping them get better also just because it's the little things it still counts and it's rewarding I come home and I feel happy that I helped patients today there are some times where I have back-to-back -back shift and sometimes I do get tired and I'll immediately go to bed at like 9 30 Griffin makes me dinner I shower and I'm in bed already so because I wake up at 5 for the next day but like this week I have every other day and then I'm done on tomorrow is my Friday and then I have the whole weekend about off so that will be fun to actually get to do stuff outside but that is mostly my job helping patients with their daily living activities i love it really great experience to get hands-on experience in the hospital i love the people that i work with they're all so nice and we work it as a team i just want to give you an update on that on how it's been the first couple it's been about two weeks now i should be on my own next week they're saying i'm doing a really great job which is exciting so i can't wait to be on my own and just working with the patients myself i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget it give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel because i will be posting more content soon about my new job i can do some daily day in the lives but i just wanted to throw this one out here first so yeah i will see you guys in my next video